Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to an interval yoga class. This is going to be 200 rep full body cardio metabolism boost class. Let's get started. Let's begin at the front of our mats. Feet together, inhale your hands all the way over your head and feel the length, feel lengthening fingertips to feet. And exhale your hands down, inhale, circle them again up. And a few more of those, inhaling the hands down, circling them up. Big circles, big breath in. Exhale, lower the hands over the heart and big circle up. Inhale. This time exhale your hands all the way down to your shin bones or to your floor and keep your back straight. Inhale, look ahead of you, hands on the floor plank, stepping the feet back, pull the belly in, lower down chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog, press into each and every finger, and you can walk in place here, lifting the tailbone as high as you can. Breathe into your hamstrings. Breathe into your lower back. Breathe into your upper back. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. Inhale the right leg up. Open the right hip on top of the left. Lift through your knee. Breathe into your hip and keep the opposite heel down on the ground. Steady the hands on the floor. Soften your gaze. And we're gonna guide the knee all the way to the right triceps and back into downward dog let's do this one more time in the form of a chaturanga and back and again guide the knee above your elbow and back coming into a chaturanga bring the leg back down and over to the left side take the left leg up and lift the left knee as high as you can lifting through the knee here Breathe into your hip, opposite hamstring, opposite inner thigh. Great. And we're gonna guide the left knee to the left triceps, chaturanga and back. One more time. Left knee, left triceps, chaturanga and back. One more time. Chaturanga and back. And you can release the leg back down. Inhale the right leg up. And we're gonna bring the right knee to the nose and back. One more time, knee to nose, shift the shoulders above the wrists and back. One more time, knee to nose, shift the shoulders above the wrists and all the way back. Step it back down, take the left leg up, knee to nose, shifting forward, pulling the belly in and back, knee to nose, shifting forward, belly in and back, and one last time, knee to nose, shifting forward, belly in and all the way back, step it back down. Inhale the right leg up and we're gonna come into one legged plank, knee between the elbows and back, knee between the elbows, back, again knee tuck, back that's three, four, keep the belly in, five, step back and downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, 
shift into plank, knee between the elbows and back one. Second time, pull the belly in, three, lift the knee as high as you can, four, five, and lift the leg behind you, downwards facing dog, step it back down. Downward facing dog, belly in. Lift the tailbone as high as you can, come onto your tippy toes and jump your feet into chair pose at the front of your mat, holding chair, low chair. Belly in, straight back. And let's clasp the hands behind. Press the hands away from your back, open the right shoulder up towards the ceiling. Back to center, left shoulder up, knees are square. Back to center, reaching over the head. Come up to standing, lift, arch, hands over the heart. Inhale the hands one more time over your head. Lift, arch, exhale, dive down to the floor. Forward bend, hands on the shin bones, inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the floor, jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, open. And next we're gonna bring the right knee to the right elbow while holding upward facing dog. Try to keep your shoulders back and down as much as you can and the tailbone tucked under one. And back, two, lift the leg behind you. Three, lift the leg behind you. Four, this is difficult. And last one and you can release the leg on the floor and go over to the left one two take the tail one under three four keep the opposite knee lifted five and release the leg on the floor back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog Nice deep inhalations, complete exhalations, lift in the tailbone, lift in the arches of the hands, lower your elbows on the floor, dolphin pose, forearms on the floor, forearms parallel to each other, lifting the hips high and you can lift back up onto your hands, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between your hands, drop the back heel down, come up warrior one. Sink a little deeper into your warrior, press into the outer edge of the back foot and power up that back leg. Hands behind you clasping, open the chest. Slowly lower down, humble warrior. Pressing the hands away from your back, lowering the forehead towards the ankle. Inhale, come halfway up, all the way up into warrior. Inhale the hands over the head, exhale the hands down on the floor, stepping back, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog, inhale the left leg up, step the left foot between the hands, drop the back heel down, come up warrior one. Exhale the hands behind you, reversing the clasp. Open the chest, lower down, humble warrior, pressing the hands away from your back again. Soften the shoulder, free the shoulder. Forehead towards the ankle, press into the outer edge of the back foot, keep the back leg strong. And let's slowly 
come back up all the way to warrior inhale your hands all the way over the head exhale straight back down to the floor chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga you guys do your second chaturangas and plank holding plank preparing for the next let's lower the elbows on the floor and come into dolphin and plank on the hands and forearm plank dolphin plank so we're gonna do a few more of those three plank elbow plank four plank elbow plank five plank elbow plank six plank elbow plank and again elbow plank coming back up plank elbow plank coming back up elbow plank and coming back up and next exercise is gonna be plank foot crossovers I'm just demonstrating a few times so you can see the exercise and let's start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three keep your belly in four five six seven eight nine ten that's the 20th rep and you can take downward facing dog after this inhale the right leg up step the right foot between your hands come up high lunge hands behind you clasping lower the chest over your right thigh and open your right shoulder up in a twist here keep the clasp going lengthen your torso coming back out of this inhale your hands over your head exhale your hands on the floor plank chaturanga upward facing dog get your second chaturanga and back to downward facing dog pretend you're in a class with me and you cannot skip the second chaturanga and inhale the left leg up step the left foot between your hands come up high lunge exhale your hands behind you open the chest lift lower down chest over the thigh twist open the left shoulder up and really lengthen through the crown of your head feel that length Ooh. and inhale the hands back up over your head exhale flat back on the floor plank chaturanga upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog come back to your breath come back to your mula bandha coming on to the tippy toes let's jump to the front of the mat chair low chair sit back belly in straight back inhale coming all the way up into standing hands over the heart inhale reaching over the head sit back chair pose exhale your hands down forward bend inhale look ahead of you and let's bring the hands on the floor and jump back into 
Chaturanga, upward facing dog, Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog. And we're gonna take side plank, left hand on the floor, right hand behind the head, crunch. Side plank, knee to elbow crunches. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, keeping the hips lifted. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, make sure your shoulder is over the wrist, 12, 13, 14, contracting, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, and you can stretch it out, back to plank, change sides one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten more Make sure that your right shoulder is over the right wrist exactly. Free the space between your shoulder and your neck so that your shoulder is getting stronger rather than you injuring your shoulder. It's all about alignment here inside planks and planks. The difference between the right and the wrong alignment can make you either stronger or weaker. And let's once we're done, let's lower down onto our bellies. Lift your legs off the floor, airplane. Pose and lift your arms off the floor. Bring your hands behind your neck. And we're gonna do 20 reps. Lifting the elbows up and the legs up. Let's go one, two, three, four. Lifting the elbows. Five, six, seven. Contracting, eight, nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty and let's bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press yourself up into plank and downward facing dog, pulling the belly in. Allow your head to be heavy here, allow your spine to decompress by lifting the hips high and finding the alignment with least amount of resistance as if it takes no effort to stay there, to be there. And from here, step into plank. And just see the next combination. I'm gonna jump my feet to the front of the mat, plank jump, and then handstand jump. You can do a tiny one, come back down and plank. You can modify this in a few ways. This is one more time demonstration and back. All right, so get to breathing, jumping in plank jump, handstand jump, and back to plank. I goofed and jump right back into plank rather than down and bang, back to plank, which is another variation. One more time, plank jump, handstand jump, plank, plank jump, handstand jump, plank, plank jump, Handstand jump, plank, breathe. And again, plank jump, jump your knees into your ribcage, down, and plank. Continue. We're aiming for 10 combinations of those. If you feel very strong today, do 20. Breathe 
and this will really give you the best cardio ever go at your own pace and have fun enjoy it make sure that you're tucking your shoulder blades into your back when you go into a jump handstand jump and if you're a beginner at handstand jumps just jump one leg up knee into the rib cage and then try the other try the goofy leg too I'm taking a break in low yogic squat and forward bend inhale your hands over your head chair pose and all the way up to standing catch your breath come back to deep soft gentle and connected breath here I'm demonstrating the next move combination exercise lunge back to knee up this is still part of the demonstration we're gonna do to any on each side and just count do your own count making sure that your front knee is above your above your front ankle and you're tucking your tailbone under when you step back you have your heel straight up, chest open. Proper form, when you bring your knee up, contracting the core, use it as a core exercise. So don't swing it, bring it up with control. This is actually a good ab exercise if you remember to contract your core each time you lift your knee. When you're done with your right leg, go over to the left side. Use the front leg to power up the move as well as the back leg. Use your glutes to sit deep into your lunge and to come out of the lunge. Great, and step back down, inhale your hands over your head, exhale forward bend inhale look ahead of you hands on the floor spread the fingers open and i'm demonstrating the next exercise which is plank to plank jump to handstand jump to plank and again going quickly go for 10 or 20 combinations if you're highly energetic today this is truly a cardio class Do your own count again and focus on breath, form and count. Shoulder blades tucked into your back. And alignment, wrist alignment, shoulder alignment. Once you're done with your 10 
or 20 combinations you can rest in low squat yogic squat and a forward bend inhale look ahead of you come up with a straight back Next exercise is back cross lunges. 20 reps alternating 10 on each side. Do your own count and keep your knees back. Keep your tailbone slightly tucked under. Focus on the gazing point in front of you. And this is just a good way to continue with the intensity of the previous one and continue going and continue moving with something lighter And inhale your hands over your head, coming to standing, exhale forward, bend, inhale look ahead of you, hands on the floor and jump back into chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, exhale downward facing dog, spread the fingers wide open and continue breathing, we're going to do a few combination moves before we get to the next exercise. Jump your feet to the front of the mat chair and squat jump from here. And let's bring the hands on the floor, step into downward facing dog. I'm gonna demonstrate the next exercise. We're gonna do a plank jump, twist jump, long jump to the back of the mat, chaturanga, plank jump, twist jump, long jump plank jump to chaturanga and so forth try to do 20 of those at your own count i'm starting my count now and i will guide you through one or two more just to kind of get the hang of it you're gonna go from down dog into plank jump twist jump facing the back of the room Plank jump to Chaturanga and again twist jump, long jump facing the front of the room and so forth. I'm gonna go for 20 of those. Hopefully I managed to do it when I did this class. Um, and I will take a break. I think at the 10 rep mark you can join me in yogic squat or a forward bend and continue with 10 more of those of course feel free to pause this video and do this portion of the classes this is going to provide the most amount of cardiovascular challenge as long as with strength building We're building the legs, building the core, building the upper body, full body exercise. I'm taking a break in downward facing dog. Feel free to continue moving if you are strong enough and powerful enough. And you can bring one hand to the center of your mat, grab your ankle with your opposite hand, look under your shoulder, switch sides. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between your hands, come up high lunge, hands in prayer, twist lunge. Come back up. Inhale your hands over your head, high lunge, exhale your hands on the floor and bring your knee into your chest, plank knee tuck, step it back, inhale the left leg up, step it through, come up high lunge, hands in prayer, 
elbow to opposite knee, look over your shoulder, twist, press the back heel straight up. Coming out of this, inhale your hands over your head, hands on the floor and squeeze your knee into your chest and back to downward facing dog, step it back down, plank, plank jump, 10 more of those, same combination. Twist jump, long jump, chaturanga, plank jump, twist jump, long jump, chaturanga, plank jump, twist jump, long jump, chaturanga, and so forth. Continue, make it 20 reps. This is not easy, but it's doable. And if you focus on your breath, you can get it done. I did this workout during the summer and Somehow I have the feeling that if I'm to repeat it today, I will do better. We've been working on cardio classes quite a bit. Back into downward facing dog. And sit down onto your bum. Round your back and lower down onto your back. Split your legs. And you can clasp your hands behind alternating knees and rest a few more of those claps this time only behind one knee then on each side and change sides draw the belly in the hands are just touching the back of your head don't pull keep pressing the lower back into your back into your mat and just drive this move from your core great Let's extend the legs on the floor. Bring opposite hand to shoulder and lift your entire body like a rainbow or arch of the floor, resting on heels and shoulders. Lift it a few times. I'm gonna go for 10 lifts. This is full body lifts. It strengthens your entire backside. Very beneficial for your hamstrings, the back of your thighs, booty, back. A few more of those. We're almost done for today. So breathe. Prepare for bridge pose. Bring your feet parallel to each other, toes pointing forward, hands on the floor and lift your booty off the floor in bridge 10 times. Keep pressing the outer edge, so to speak, of your shoulders down, rotating it out and down into the floor in order to open the chest and free the space between the collarbones. Press into the outer and inner edges of your feet and squeeze your booty as you lift. Go for 10, but if you feel that you can do 20, go for 20 lifts here. Hip lifts. I want to 
once you're done you can bring the soles of the feet together and rest in Supta Bhattakudasana coming out of Subtabada Konasana you can rock all the way to coming up to Navasana both poses fingers together hands together side to side reaches go for 10 to 20 reps breathe and keep your chest open and your back straight, don't curl round your back here once you're done you can roll back onto your back and go for a supine twist, bring your right knee into your chest and bring it across changing sides, relax your breath bring your breath back to neutral And you can cross the right knee on top of the left, grab your feet and bring your feet towards you to open the hips here in a hip opener, changing sides left knee over the right, flex your feet and bring them towards you, breathe into your hips and breathe into your lower back. Soles of the feet together one more time, and you can relax here in Subtabada Konasana for the next few minutes, allowing yourself to be present and grateful for the present moment. Let everything dissolve and be in the now, in the present. Be grateful for everything you have. Namaste.